Let me show you guys how I created this half tone light effect in Corel Draw. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Basically, this flyer will actually, or this tutorial will actually help you to create flyers, uh, magazine covers, or broke your world of view. So without any further ado, let's jump straight to Corel Draw. So welcome back to Corel Draw, guys. So basically, we're going to import our image for this tutorial. So what you're going to do is come over to File, Select, Import. All right, so this box is gonna come up. So basically you select this image and um, can click over here to drop it. So the size we're making use of is um, 1080 by 1350 inches, pixels, sorry. So come over to your property bar and select unit. Then under unit, you locate pixels, all right? So now you're gonna change this to 1080 by 1350. All right, so basically, this is it all right so now this is the image you have now to create your effect what you're going to do is you can select any background of your choice any color background of your choice so in this case we're going to make use of red all right so i'm going to convert to my um rectangle tool over here and double click on it then it will bring itself to the workspace then what you're going to do is you can see we have a black stroke so basically to remove the black stroke come over to your color thumbnail or your color palette all right on top you will see a white um a white thumbnail with a red strike on it just um, right click on it to remove the black stroke all right so basically the next thing you're going to do is um we're going to select our interactive fill to color the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag this way on the background all right now we're going to create the background so what you're going to do is come to your property bar after selecting this and locate elliptical fountain field once you click on it this is what you're going to have i'll repeat that again all right select your interactive field tool on your choose bar once you click on it come over to this hold control key or command key for the big boys then drag this way all right once you drag the reason for you holding the control key is for you to get a perfect straight line when you're drawing then when you once you draw it this bar will change giving you the properties of this elliptical fountain or interactive field too do you understand then select your interact um elliptical fountain field on the um, property bar once you click on it it will change to this do you understand now you can basically make this an over shape by using this dragging this out this way all right so once you do that you've gotten an oval shape now select this black one over here once you select it this color um stuff will come up so select the color the not color over here and um choose the right color you want to make use of so i'm going to use um rgb for this case if you're printing this please go ahead and use cmyk as color mode then i'm going to drag this to my red then bring this one over here make it a bit dark all right then for this one you're going to select this middle um thumbnail over here or you can call it anchor point i don't know is it anchor point Whoa, select that thing you're seeing there click on the not color then select rgb like i said i'm using rgb as my color mode then drag this to this node drag it to the red you're seeing there then this is what you're going to have then bring this one in here over here all right then make this one a bit dark not so dark but make it a bit dark all right, so the purpose of this is to make this um, this background reflect on this image. Do you understand? Like, in terms of light placement, like part of the image will be dark, while part of the the side will have a reflection of this red color we have here. So stick around and watch carefully to understand. Do you understand? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this image by dragging one over here. All right or you can use control c to copy then control v to paste it this way 
Do you understand? Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Now, this is what you're going to have. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select this one, come over to your bitmap and select mode. After selecting your mode, you select what? Grayscale. All right. Once you select grayscale, what you're going to do is you can select bitmap again and select convert to bitmap. So once you convert it to bitmap, you can select your column, column mode as um, RGB. Then click on OK. Your resolution should be at 300. Then click on OK. Then go back to um, your menu bar and select effects. Then select adjust. Select color balance. Do you understand? Color balance. I've made use of it before. That's why this one is popping up. So what you're going to do is you can let me reset it so you're going to see. Come to your master. Then what you're going to do is you can drag this one to red. You can see it's written here red cyan. So anyone by the by the left, once you drag it to the left, it will give it that color on the left. So the one on the right is red. So you can just play around it. And this is what you're going to have. So you're going to click on OK. And uh, the next thing you're going to do is convert to effect again. Select adjust, then select image adjustment lab. So once you click on it, all right, you can just play with this. Let me reset because I've worked on this before. All right. Now let me reset it. Now what you're going to do is let's try the temperature. You can just be playing with it, guys. Play with it till you get what you want. Then um, for this one, I'm going to, for the tint, I'm going to increase this. But it's giving me kind of a, a, a yellowish stuff. So this one, saturation, let's play with this. Like I said, play with it and what you get, once you get your perfect results, you just click on OK. Now for the brightness, we can just reduce this brightness or let's, we can increase it if we wish. Maybe, let's increase. Then contrast, we can increase that. All right then um, let's increase the brightness again all right let's increase that again now for the mid tone we can just maybe increase let's reduce and see anyway let's increase and let's let's see what we got let's increase now i think i'm okay with this for now but you can play around it and see what you get so click on okay all right so once you do that for this one um what you're going to do is Press on your keyboard Control B. Control B to get your light um, dialog box. There you will get your brightness, contrast, intensity, highlight, shadow, and midstone. You understand? But we're going to just make use of our brightness. So I'm going to reset for us to see what we're going to have. Now for the brightness, you're going to decrease it. But when you're decreasing it, make sure some parts of the images are showing. You understand? We're going to make it a bit dark this way all right this way this way this way this way so we can see the the subjects all right i think this is okay for now this is okay for now so for the contrast we can increase the contrast a bit so you can see part of the face is showing do you understand so this is what you're going to have so the next thing you're going to do is let's decrease the contrast again so this is what you're going to have guys for the highlights let's try the highlights but i don't want that i don't want that i don't want that to show so let's 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 leave that for the shadow let's reduce the shadow it's not reflecting here but highlights is reflecting you can just reduce that um for this one brightness you can just do this All right contrast you can increase again now just keep playing around it what you, when you get what you want you can just leave that to that now for me i think i'm good with this all right you can use my my settings then when you're done you click on ok now for this one you're going to select this image please listen carefully you stop looking at me and look at your screen hold your shifts on your keyboard hold your shifts on your key your shift key there's a key on your keyboard routine shift press it then select this one now you've selected this one and this one that is you've selected this and this one then you're going to press letter c on your keyboard to bring it together i swear somebody's confused somebody is confused all right 
in case you're confused drop me a comment in the comment section below now this is what you're going to have now for this one that is this one right you're going to come to effects select blur select feather come to effects select blur select feather do you understand now you can play with it now let's let's try and use let's let's use our curve now let's reset this you can see how it was before so if you increase this you can see the light is coming in the parts of the image all right so you can increase it but before we, okay let's let's click on okay and um, select everything then when you place it on this background when you place it on this background select everything place it on this background so you can see part of the image is showing the light from the background is reflecting on the image you understand now you can just right click and select power clip then place it into this frame then right click again select edit power clip then you can just highlight everything scale it up the way you want bring it down all right then uh, what you're going to do is click on ok now you can bring in your rectangle tool you can put a, um, a rectangle here then give it black all right so to get a perfect perfect black all you, all you need to do is just click on this color thumbnail over here then come over to color viewer select color mode select rgb then use this thumbnail over here drag to this point to get a perfect black now select the transparency to drag this way all right once you drag you can just reveal it this way like i told you guys um transparency tool is used to reveal or hide do you understand now once you do that you can just leave that to this and um, maybe add your text if you wish he just did you can just use that as maybe anything so let me just make the the red rgb color so it pop now i'm going to use babas as my font do you understand i'm going to scale this up this way all right then you can basically let me let me bring this guy let me bring this guy down let me bring him down again all right so over here take this one up you can just write anything you want can bring your 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 subtitle tool over here and then just write something anything you just did please subscribe to my youtube channel forget the errors there i'm just trying to explain something to you so let me just um copy this copy this and uh, let's see this is our subtitle all right and we place it looks like a movie poster right kind of you can use this for flyer magazine or anything anything of such do you understand so let me highlight this uh we can bring this one this way all right so with this one you can bring this one here scale it up this way and um and um this is what you are going to have so basically this is how to create a half tone light effect and i don't know if it's called light tone effect anyway but that's the name i give it so if you have any question and you know you're subscribed to my channel please drop me a comment in this in the comment section below and if you're not subscribed you can scroll to my next video and watch so see you guys in my next video bye bye